have made it to Kudu Island. Welcome to the Maldives. Tell us about the Maldives. Where to begin? Well, why did you want a vacation here in the first place? Well, it's just like a bucket list destination. It's supposed to be like the clearest water and the whitest beaches and I mean, has over water bungalows. Has it lived up to that? Yeah, for sure. It's our last day in the Maldives and we're gonna show you some of the great footage we got. What was your favorite part of the trip? Mm, I don't know. I mean, it was all pretty magical. Food was pretty good. The food was pretty good. The um, dolphin tour was cool. I didn't expect it to be that cool because you know we've done a bunch of those little dolphin type tours, but this was fun. The snorkeling was insane. We actually went snorkeling a couple of times, but because Dave forgot the housing for the GoPro, um, we had to rent a GoPro. So we didn't take any snorkeling footage until our last day. Um, our last full day here and it just so happened that at the time we were going snorkeling some clouds rolled in so it made it look like it was like getting dark really early and it was a little <laughs> sketchy and they warned and us were, that there'd be sharks yeah they did say that there were lots of sharks and luckily we were told by two different people that there were really really big sharks because they were freaking huge. And if we hadn't been warned in advance that there were gonna be like 10, 12 foot sharks out there, I probably would have died. But we just did exactly what <laughs> the dive center told us to do, which is stay calm, it'll be fine, just keep floating. So that's what we did, but it was really scary. And after the second time we saw like a 12 foot shark, we were like, uh, let's go in. <laughs> it's getting a little sketchy. The thing I like about this trip is everything's really on the campus here. so. You just walk to the resort. Um, as you can see, all of our overwater bungalows are just three minute walk away. The dive center's right over there. And that's where we're gonna go to paddleboard. And we did a canoe or kayak. Last night we saw turtles, stingrays. We saw a very moody lobster, very yeah. big lobster. Uh, we got to do some fresh water or some saltwater uh, swimming. The swing's right over there. Nice Instagrammable swing. I think this is just a place you get great photos. It's really a, you know, we're, we're basically sitting on what was an old volcano rim that is sunken just to sea level. So it's kind a of a magical of place. I had said that the Maldives can be a little boring if you're more of like an adventurous traveler that likes to do excursions and stuff. But I felt like they had plenty of offerings of stuff to do around here. And I sort of wish, uh, we had heard like, five days is all you need. I kind of wish we had had seven, just so that we had like a little more time to like do some stuff, some fun stuff. But I feel like we got we got to see it all. And then the bats. Oh my gosh. The yeah. largest mammal on the island is the bat. I think it's bigger than the cat. I don't think we'll see the bats right now, but there's these fruit trees and the bats just dive bomb in, in really beautiful three, four foot wingspans. So that's been fun to see. What else is unique to the Maldives? Really kind people. It's an island where only 150 people live here. So everyone's really kind. The massage was really nice. Yeah. We're, we're walking by the massage place right now. I ripped the underwear accidentally. I tried to put I've my waist. I laughed so hard in my life. <laughs> I tried to put my waist through one of the leg holes. It's, you know, it's like, it's like their one time use underwear and uh, <laughs> it ripped and then when I put it on the right way, my balls were hanging out the side. It was a real situation. I've never seen Tasha laugh so hard. I was almost crying when I had to go ask him for another <laughs> new pair of underwear for you. Gift oh. shop is overpriced. The That's true. bike rental was 10 bucks a day, which is not bad. Although there's really nowhere to bike to, but it is nice to have your bike. Having the bike to take back to the bungalow is a lot quicker, which is nice. Yeah. There are little hammocks everywhere. There's a hammock. Cute. Did a nice hammock photo shoot. And um, in a couple hours, we'll get breakfast and then they'll pack us up. And then we have three flights totaling over 30 hours. We just, Dave just spent all this time blowing up our new floats and we were putting sunscreen on each other and we just realized it flew away, it's floating away. <laughs> it's floating away, you 
can't even see it on the screen. There it is. Can I zoom in on it? Taking, uh, get me. <laughs> so Dave just put on his flippers and is gonna go get it. You're gonna have to swim fast, honey. Don't hurt yourself. Oh my goodness, look how far away it is. He got it! That would have been so annoying. Hello and welcome to our Maldives overwater bungalow. Let me give you a little tour. First, right behind you is the bathroom, which is really nice, a nice big tub. Get a little mirror shot, will ya? Big full length mirror, which is nice to see your outfit, tiny shower, and right behind you, is our outdoor shower. And it's got double doors that open to the view in case you wanna look at the ocean while you shower. Now come on back through this way and I'll show you the bedroom. So here we've got nice big wardrobes. Don't mind the mess, we've been staying here a few days. Big king size bed, a little desk and workstation for Dave. And this is the real kicker. Check out this view. Private pool, you can watch the paddle boarders and the kayakers and the snorkelers. Nice little place to sit out here and enjoy your morning coffee. Again, the outdoor shower. And for lounging and avoiding a sunburn, we've got these two nice little loungers over here. This is where we spent a lot of our afternoons, that and floating in the pool. Check this out. You wanna go snorkeling? Got your own private dock. You can just jump right in. This is also really cool. So you can see some fish right now. First thing in the morning, pretty much all day long, you can see fish snorkeling. We're right above a reef. And at night, the light from the ocean pops up through the floor and just illuminates the whole room. It's really fantastic. We're just about a four minute walk from the main restaurant along the boardwalk here. We've got a space to park our bikes, a little shed to keep our snorkeling gear. Well, that's it. Hope you enjoyed.